According to the NSA, Edward Snowden fabricated keys to obtain and exfiltrate top secret information. To better understand how he successfully accessed areas he shouldn't have had access to and obtained sensitive information, let's use a kill chain analysis. The kill chain provides a good analysis of how adversaries attack organizations and is widely used by both military as well as information security professionals. By applying the kill chain analysis to Snowden's case, it's very evident that there were three key steps he executed upon to achieve his goal. Let's explore each of them. Step 1. Like every cyber criminal, the first step is to research the target, identifying the weaknesses and map out where the high value data is. Edward Snowden was no different. Like every government contractor, Edward Snowden was issued with a common access card that included digital certificates and keys for him to authenticate onto the network. He was also issued with his own SSH keys for systems that he was responsible for administering. Using these credentials, Edward Snowden went about his investigative research, mapping out where the sensitive data was that he wanted to steal. As part of the reconnaissance process, Snowden also gained illegitimate access to SSH keys, which he would later use. Let's move on to step two. Snowden already had the network access he needed. As part of the intrusion step, Snowden needed to gain access to systems with the classified information and make sure he was covering his tracks. To do so, he used stolen SSH credentials that were more than likely obtained in step one to access the target system and implement a secure backdoor for himself by using self-signed keys and certificates that he created and installed on the target systems. In step 3, Snowden needed to exfiltrate the data to his own file share without being caught. To do this, like most cyber criminals, he transferred the data over encrypted channels. These were set up using self-signed certificates that he created himself. Like most organizations, the NSA trusted the encrypted sessions as safe and authorized. And because security solutions can't inspect encrypted traffic without the keys, there was no way to stop the exfiltration of data, unless, of course, the entire key and certificate population had been monitored for anomalous behavior, which it wasn't. Like Snowden, cyber criminals use keys and certificates every day to disguise the communication between things like remote access tools and command and control centers, as well as steal sensitive data without organizations and government entities ever detecting them. Only when keys and certificate behavior is closely monitored can such an attack be mitigated against.